The fact that these videos are going to be watched online does affect the way I put together the video. You want to make sure that the students are getting a return on their investment. As they watch your videos, they should be learning the most important material. And so I always start with something that answers that question of why should I know this? Um, in other words, why should I understand photosynthesis? From there, it's pretty simple as a teacher. You should show them what you're going to do. You should do it and then you should review it. I try to use as many visuals and animations as I can. I really try to spend a lot of time on analogies. You want to tie the new material to something that they already understand. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to go back and review the concepts that I think were the most important things that they should understand. I would say the majority of students are coming to my videos just because they're confused. They're typing in Google photosynthesis or in YouTube and then it's one of the videos that's popping up to the top. And I, I like that in that um, it's self-motivation. They're not being forced to go there and watch a video. When I was a kid, one of my favorite books to read were choose your own adventure books where you'd read a few pages and then you would decide what do you want to do next. You go to page 13 or 27. And so we have to think of online education like that. Students have to be able to watch a video, answer a few questions, and then based on how well they did on those questions, serve up more videos or serve up other activities so they can kind of build on that. It's going to take us longer for this to happen, but the payoff is going to be huge.